G'day, how you going? I thought I'd show you uh, my Hobie, well, kayak pulley system. Um, that's the pulley. A uh, couple of uh, winches running off some cable. And yeah, this is uh, out of the way when uh, the car's in the garage. But uh, the main thing I wanted to show you was uh, the water snake to uh, Hobie conversion through um, using the Hobie cassette. So um, the game changer um, item that I found was using this um, $9 item from Bunnings. It's a, uh, a pipe cutter. Um, it's used to cut this, uh, this pipe down. Um, very easy to use. I did it um, on the first go, just tying it up and twist and um, yeah th this will save your install time um, by a, a huge amount um, the other thing I found useful was uh, using these these uh, trolley clamps um, which you can see there's a couple here that you can purchase from um, SL Hobie in Mornington and these um, are used to sort of secure the water snake to the cassette and they um with a bit of uh sicker flex they they work quite well as you can see um a bit of a paint job to spruce it up a bit but um she works quite well um i'll show you straight in she works uh connected her up already the clearance is quite good um, as you can see, the um, the propeller uh, clears the the bottom of the kayak, um, and hopefully she'll do well tomorrow. Um, on the next video, I'll show you how to load um, the Hobie onto the back of uh, the top of the car with a um, use of a bar. This is the bar I was talking about. Um, I think it's a Yakima. It came off a, a rear loader. So there should be two of these uh, connecting to your roof rack with a bar that runs across and a roller. So you push the kayak onto the roof uh, racks from behind. But um, this system that I've uh, customized seems to work. Hopefully it's the new thing I'm trying just to give some sort of uh, distance and support. <laughs> She's on. Take the wheels off. Put the wheel on. So basically, it's like that. Um, now we load. like going to the gym but it works and um, it works for me Shoreham is pumping how good is this it's Mateo leaving uh, to launch um, and I'm about to launch as well She's a little bit hairy coming out here with all the swell. Some good rides out here this morning. Feels like I'm in a point break movie as a cameraman. Yep, got a cuttlefish. So Flinders never fails. Um, Travelled 5Ks to get to this um, aero squid. Uh, got him on the um, the, the 
nice, also, almost looks like a Batman jig. Um, Flinders. Looks like I might have another one. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice big one. Oh, yeah. This is what I came here for. Got him. Beautiful. Happy. Pretty happy with this donkey. Um, yeah. Uh, Flinders squid on the electric. Just doing a bit of trolling out um, Flinders way in about nine meters. That's the knob. Looks like it might be another one. Yep. Another aero squid. So now to troll back, I guess, um, to Shoreham from Flinders. Um, hopefully I'll pick up a few more, but it's, uh, it's getting a bit cold and I'm hungry. So on the way back, I nabbed this little guy. So this is um, at uh, the fastest speed, heading back, um, getting probably 5 to 6 k's per hour, uh, depending on the chop. Uh, it's not as relaxing as uh, the first speed, where you think it's, um, it's very tranquil and quiet. Uh, this one will just get you back to where you need to go. So um, coming into the pines, which is actually Shoreham, um, the surf looks really, really good. Um, but this morning when we were, um, when we were about to launch, um, we noticed another kayaker uh, down towards the toilets and he came out of there. But yeah, we'll, next time we looked, he was, um, the kayak was upside down. So um, yeah, it looks a bit hairy. So. This will be the hairiest part of the the whole thing I guess.